Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, we're trying to get in there by infiltrating there. Before I do that, I'd like to give a shout out to Sam Winchester. I have to comment saying, oh wow, what an interesting episode. So Alcatraz cannot talk because of his injuries? It must be a horrifying situation to be in. To basically have your broken body being uh, be taken over by a foreign entity while he is unable to communicate. He's basically a dead man walking, and even if he saves the world, he'll die if the suit is taken from him. And now he has to keep going with the knowledge that he might be living on borrowed time. And if the suit is merging with him, I wonder how much of him will even be left by the end of the game. I hope at the very least he isn't in too much pain due to his injuries. And on the subject of, uh... Both Sam Winchester and, uh... People in really unfortunate situations. Here's another comment that says, Ugh, after seeing the infected people, the disease reminds me of necrotizing fasciitis. And then in brackets, uh, on all capital letters, do not look up pictures. And then, horrifying to say the least, I wonder what happens if Alcatraz tries to put one of them out of their misery. And it looks like I was kind of right about the reason the Seth are turning us into goo. Yay? <laughs> oh dear. Let's see here. Oh, there's not something moving in there. Oh, this is creepy as shit. The only thing that kept this tunnel from collapsing is the fact that there's a goddamn train in it. Neutralize. Oh, there's one. Interface with the spore veins again. I really wish their guns did not look so much like mini guns. It does not fill me with confidence. Option three, snipe. Well, they did give me a sniper rifle right here. It's not the worst thing I've ever heard. Tell you what, I will start. This probably only has about 12 bullets in it, so I'll start off with this. Called it. Oh, wait. Silencer. And uh, sniper scope is already on, so fine. And I'll just duck over here. And we'll say goodnight to this asshole. I wonder if they check on their dead. The oh, he's going in to take a look. I don't think he liked that very much. Oh fuck, I was gonna drop down there and go after the, the nano catalyst, but then I couldn't get back up to get the other gun. Okay, let's drop down there and go say hi. I don't know how long the nano catalyst lasts after they die, but I don't think it's forever. Ooh, case in point. Oh 
fuck, it's a bush, not a dead guy. What a strange thing to say. Ah, I don't know where he was. Oh, shit. Wandered out behind that car. Oh, shit, I didn't see you. Hey, there's a Devastator here, you guys. Let's run. We are running away. He's directly above me. Jesus Christ. Huh. Oh, hell. Well, time to say hello. How do you like it, huh? Good, I've completely lost my sense of direction here. What the fuck? I was showing me where the other ones are, uh, even though I'm not in that region yet. Excuse me. Oh, here's one of them. You're dead. Yeah, it does the, the voice thing for the, uh, the stealth kills as well. I like that. The guy charged me as I was firing, and uh, I thought I was kind of fucked until it said I got a 100 nano catalyst. I guess he must have died in mid-charge, throwing himself into me and giving it to me. What just happened? Oh, they know exactly where I am, I suddenly noticed, in the uh, the red bar in the corner. God damn! Oh, he's not throwing grenades, he's shooting rockets! I did not notice that the first time. When I killed a guy with a microwave gun, it made him fucking explode inside his armor. There's nothing down there but metal now. What's that of this guy? It makes you explode. Oh. Yep! Maybe I did kill him after I ran down here and kicked the hornet's nest. Reinforced uh, an exoskeleton rapid fire energy weapon. Well, I might as well stick my hand in the alien machine while I'm here. Looks like it's a flow of. Spores, I guess? The nano things flying out of their, uh, buildings? I don't know how sticking my hand in that blocks it off, though. Good. You're having the desired effect, but you have to hurry. Those fools at the Pentagon are getting ready to act. Oh, I forgot about that. That's bad. I kinda wanted to walk there, but I guess I'll use this giant tentacle. I feel safe. Uh, 
Oh, why do they have to rotate as they go? Why do they have to twist as they were jamming them into the ground? No, it's a drill. Oh, you can still see that ship we saw at the beginning of the level. It's just chilling. Why wasn't that lighting me up? Do they not communicate with each other? suck more with this gun than most. Oh shit! Deep clip though, uh, mag. Got some bullets in there. Oh right, ammo box is just over here. That's what it is. It was bugging me about the grenades. You have to manually switch to those. One of the things I really like about uh, the Halo games is that you throw grenades there by hitting a button. And it doesn't matter what... You don't switch to your grenades. It doesn't matter what gun you have out. You press the button and your guy lets go of his gun with his left hand and throws a grenade. see that every day. I guess those are more of those drop pods. Nice to see those are coming from ships and not just falling from the fucking sky. Weird to look at one of these places from the opposite angle. Snipe being way over there now. Not anymore! Well, I'm guessing there's a Devastator here somewhere. Not loving this! And we're running, and we're running, and this is bad for my energy. Oh boy. Oh, fuck. Does that guy have energy shields? Or was he just really angry? Is that why he was glowing red? I should not have instinctively reloaded that, but hey, there it goes. I'll take that, and that. Oh shit, it's the big one. Where's Mike? There you are, Mike. I've got a job for you. Yeah, it, it, I love that it doesn't even hold the gun up like the other ones. It's, no, there are no options to this one. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, now I'm covered.
covered in goo. How do you like it? How do you like melting into horrible goo? Only 11 left in this. I kind of want to know what happens if you use it on a cell, uh, soldier. Throw the word for a moment there. Let me guess, that door will not open until I do the thing. Avoid. Great. I mean, just as it told me that all these tactical options are available, one of those guys jumped up onto my platform and looked right at me. It's right next to me. Oh, look at that. Avoid was the area where all those assholes started. No, Avoid is a great big hole in the ground where all the water is flowing into. I guess I'll die if I go in that. I'm just going to jump straight up. That's really deep. Nanovision enabled. I don't see any explanation for that. It must just be a sinkhole. These guys don't seem to just be opening random holes in the ground. They're not mole men. Actually, let me see one of those resupply things. Uh... How the hell can it be all the way down there? Must be in the other region. Oh, here we go. Ah, bullets. Right. Well, I did need this. Oh, crap. Oh, what the hell? I'm leaving anyway. Just don't forget to stick my hand in the giant machine. Sabotage the central alien structure. See, that one sounds okay. I don't mind that one. Oh boy. That thing is tall. The inside is literally filled with a cloud of nanospores. Okay. Ooh. Fucking up my suit and pushing me backwards? Is I going to have to fight against this? Oh, that's a pit. Into the abyss, it should be unlocked. Now let's see what the suit will do. Nanospore infestation. Filtering. Seeking interface. Excellent. Recognition. Communication. Exchange. The protocols are compatible. What are you saying? Wait, was that the sabotage? Me being there to drink up all of the spores? Ah, more resistance than I expected. You'd better... Would you excuse me, please? My suit is now glowing. It's got little green highlights all over the place. And it's asking me to alternate the triggers to crawl along the ground. That was, uh... Whatever that was really fucked me up. Alcatraz, listen to me very carefully. The decision is made. The bombers are in the air. Get out of there! I've dispatched a helicopter to pick you up, but you'll have to move quickly. Get to higher ground! Hurry! Oh. Yeah, we're moving. I guess that it's not really a highlight in every area. Escape the flood. Reach the helicopter for extraction. Maybe those lights were already on my hands, and I just hadn't gotten a good look at them, because the rest of my arm seems okay now. Or maybe I just finished absorbing them. Nanovision enabled. Oh, there's the timer. Oh, 
Oh, so I'll just pause in my desperate struggle for survival and do an outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we will see you with the outcome of whatever that was on the next episode of uh, Let's Play Crisis 2. Oh boy. Uh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. This is going to be tricky. Later.